Hey, it's Brie here with So Not Crazy. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make a really cute macrame hat hanger. You're gonna need a wood ring. You will need two pieces of three millimeter macrame cotton cord, each cut in two pieces that are eight feet long. And you'll need a pair of good scissors. These are fabric scissors. And I'll link to all of my favorite versions of these things in the description. So the first thing we're gonna do is fold one of our pieces of macrame cord. Oh, you'll also need a measuring tool. So I have like a little tape measure here. We're gonna fold um, our first piece of macrame cord, but we're not gonna fold it in half. We actually want one side of our cord to be about 28 inches long. So I'm just gonna put the end of this one here. And then that's where I'm going to fold it. Now with this loop, I'm gonna put it over my wood ring fold it like that. Then I'm going to take my two loose ends here, put them through that loop, pull them through, and then pull them tight. And this is a lark's head knot. Now I'm going to do that same thing with my other piece of cord. I'm going to use the cord I already folded as how long I want mine this one to be, again, I'm folding it. But now we have to pay attention because we want our two short pieces to be on the inside. So this here is my short piece. I'm gonna make sure this one here is also my short piece. Again, I'm gonna fold the loop over that wood ring, pull the two loose ends through, and pull tight. So now we're going to be doing a half square knot. What's really cool about the half square knot is when we just repeat that, it starts to naturally twist around. So I got some wood chips in my rope. So to do the half square knot, you're going to take the right side rope and make a backwards four shape and it's laying on top of the two middle cords here. With the left side cord, it's gonna lay on top of the tail of that four, then the left side cord is gonna come under behind the two middle cords and pull it through this loop. And then pull the two outer cords tight. I like to keep my two middle cords pinched between these two fingers so that as I'm pulling these up, the two outside cords up, these don't get bunched up in there. And that is a half square knot. Now we're just gonna do that on repeat, again with the right side, make a backwards four shape that is laying on top of the two middle cords. The left cord is laying on top of that. Um, the tail of the four, the left cord is coming under behind those two middle cords and through the loop that you made. And just keep going until we've made a couple spirals. So you'll see it's starting to curve around. As it curves around, it's okay to switch the cord that you're using. So we were using our right side cord to make the backwards four, but as you can see, it's now twisting around to where my right side cord is becoming the left, the left is becoming the right. It's okay to switch. It's not gonna mess up the pattern at all. It might get a little complicated to try to kind of chase that right sided cord as it keeps twisting.
Okay, now we have completed this top portion of our half square knots. So you can see I just have a couple twists here. Those long pieces that we were working with should still be longer than our two middle cords. Now what we're gonna do is come six inches under our last half square knot. And with two, the two cords on the left, we're just gonna tie a regular overhand knot. So you're gonna make a loop, keeping our finger at about that six inch mark, and then just pull the two loose ends through. And just kind of pull, I'm holding the knot in place with my um, fingers here, and just kind of pulling the ends until they're tight. I'm gonna do the same with the two right cords. Okay, I made a loop, just pulling the two loose ends through. And I'm gonna kinda use the knot I already made as my guide for the height. That one's a little bit too high. I always say it's one of the things I love about macrame. When I make an error or put a knot in the wrong place, I can just untie it. Okay, now six inches below those knots. Right about here. We're going to do some more half square knots. So make sure your two long pieces are on the outside still. And those two short pieces are on the inside in the middle. So again, make that backwards four with the right cord. The left cord goes over the top of the tail behind the two and through that loop. This one might be kind of tricky because we don't have anything above it to help us kind of know where to stop. So I'm just measuring so I know exactly where six inches is. It's right there. And then we just keep going. This time I'll probably only do about eight half square knots till we get just one good twist around. That's it for that bunch of half square knots. Now all of our ends are very uneven. Some might have become kind of frayed at the ends like mine did. If you want to prevent that from happening, you can always put tape around the ends of your cords um, and then just trim those pieces of tape off at the end. Also, if you're curious about different ways to set up your macrame workstation, I will link to that video that I made in the description. And all we're going to do at this point is trim those ends wherever you would like to trim them, however you want that end to be. So here is what you just made. 
And here's what it looks like with a super cute hat hanging from it. I hope you loved today's project. Please take a picture, share it on Instagram, and use hashtag so not crazy so that I can see your finished project. Till next time.